Hello and welcome to Insight, the Greater Cleveland Partnership feature that focuses upon issues of importance to the Greater Cleveland business community. I'm Steve Lutner, and joining me today is Nick Katozzi, Vice President for Government Affairs for the Greater Cleveland Partnership. Hi, Nick. Hi, Steve. Nick, today we're going to be talking about an issue of importance that's been in the news recently, and that is President Obama's uh, proposal to uh, apply some new regulations to power plant emissions. I, I know that may sound a little bit mundane, but it's important, particularly for Ohio. It has uh, special implications. Can you talk about that a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, as you know, Ohio is a coal state. Uh, we produce it here, it's mined here, and we produce uh, a vast majority of our electricity using coal generation. So, what is it, 70 to 80 percent of the electricity in Ohio is produced from coal? Yes, absolutely. And manufacturing in Ohio, it's still a substantial part of the economy, especially the northern part of the state, Greater Cleveland in particular. Uh, this could, manufacturing is on a kind of a comeback trail here in Ohio. Could, do you think that this could potentially undermine that with higher rates? Absolutely. That is uh, one of our main concerns is that uh, if you eliminate coal and go to other, other forms of energy, uh, that you will increase the, the costs associated with electric production. Uh, that'll affect our wallets and, and our bills at home, and it'll affect our manufacturing community, which will ultimately reflect itself in the products that they produce. And, and to your point, you, asked, you, you mentioned the, you know, the rebirth of manufacturing. We're seeing reshoring of jobs, and, and certainly our concern is that this could halt that reshoring as a business and industry is always looking to make sure that they're they're producing the lowest cost product, the best pr quality product, but at the lowest cost. And certainly, we would hate to see because of these increased energy costs, this this tax on carbon. Uh, we would hate to see that that impact this rebirth, this reshoring of manufacturing that's taking place. American uh, manufacturing jobs coming back to the United States from uh, overseas. Yeah, it's a global marketplace, and you know one of the other concerns because it's a global marketplace is lose if if we are if we cut back on our use of coal, it makes the the resource less expensive, and and our concern is that that other developing countries who don't have the, the restrictions that we currently have on our, on our electric production uh, will and, and are putting coal plants online, th that'll make it that much less expensive for them to bring additional coal generation, on, coal electric generation on, online. And so we'll, we'll, be, we'll be in as, uh, as worse a shape or in worse shape than we are currently. It could depress the price of coal and so these other countries with fewer environmental regulations than what we have now could end up burning more coal. More coal, and you know, as as tough as it sounds, again, looking for it, it, it all goes to the cost of the product that's produced, and if it can be done, if it in energy is a large part of that production cost, um, business is going to find a way to make sure that they are competitive in a global marketplace, and that's what it comes down to. It comes down to the economy. It comes down to global competition. Um, we can do it better here. But the, the regulations, additional regulations, will result in an additional tax on, on manufacturing and industry. So this is on uh, Greater Cleveland Partnership's radar. What, what will the GCP do with this going forward? Sure. Uh, obviously, we're monitoring, uh, as these regulations are put out, monitoring comments that are being submitted. Uh, we intend to submit comments to uh, the US EPA via their website. Uh, once we get input from our members, we have a meeting coming up with our Governor Affairs Council and uh, have a staff member coming in from Washington, D.C. to talk to them about that. Uh, there's also the EPA is holding a hearing, a series of hearings on this, on this issue, um, and we'll be attending the, the June, July 31st event in Pittsburgh. So this is important stuff not only for Ohio manufacturers, but actually for all Ohioans, I think. Absolutely. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, Steve. And thanks for watching another edition of Insight. In the weeks and months to come, we'll be exploring more issues of importance for the greater Cleveland business community. Thanks.